because the comparison theorem uh, goes like this. Assume that you have two functions, f and g, over some interval where f is greater than g or greater than equal, greater than or equal, what you call positive definite, right, over this interval. So the theorem tells you that uh, the, uh, <clears throat> the integral actually I did not restrict the domain. Let's say the domain is negative infinity to infinity. So f is always greater than or equal g. Now f and g will be the integrand of two integrals, the integral of f of x and the integral of d of x. And if f of x is convergent, then the integral of f of x is convergent, then it follows that the integral of d of x is convergent. Again, think about it. If f is always greater than g, and the integral of f is convergent, in other words, is finite, then the integral of g has to be finite. That's the theory. And so let's write it, okay? Uh, let f and g be continuous function with f of x is greater than or equal g of x. Uh, and g of x is positive, positive definite or something, for all values of x greater than some uh, value of a, some number a. Okay? Then we have two statements. One, if the integral from a to infinity of f of x is convergent, of f of x dx is convergent, remember f is the greater of the two, then it, it forces the integral from a to infinity of g of x of dx is to be convergent as well. Okay? And you can assume that if you go in reverse, you get 2, definition 2, you tell you that if, not definition, but the, the part of the theorem, if the integral from a to infinity of g of x dx is divergent. Remember, g is the smallest of the two, and if this blows up, if the smaller function blows up, divergent, then it forces the integral from a to infinity of f of x dx to be divergent as well. To demonstrate this uh, theorem, let's do an example here in which we need to show that uh, the integral from 1 to infinity, I'm sorry, 0 to infinity, of e to the negative x squared dx, uh, we need to show that it's, uh, diver it's convergent. Now, if, remember I told you that the integral of e to the x squared dx, uh, this is not an elementary or ordinary, I should say, integral. We cannot calculate it analytically. We can do only approximation. Same with the e to the negative x squared dx. We cannot calculate e to the negative x squared dx. If, if we could, then you probably don't need to use anything else to show that the integral is convergent. But we can use the comparison theorem to show that even though we cannot calculate this particular integral, it is convergent. And to do so, we need to compare it. And if we want to show convergence, we need to find uh, a function f of x that would be greater than our function. So our function becomes g of x, the smaller of the two, 
and we need to find something that is greater than that. To do so, we're going to choose, we're going to compare negative x and negative x squared. We're going to let negative x, well, we know negative x is always greater than or equal to negative x squared. And so is e to the negative x is going to be a, v a number greater than or equals to e to the negative x squared. Okay? Because x squared is always more negative. So, so instead of working on, I'm sorry? So this will be our uh, f of x, and our function is a g of x. And we use the comparison. So now we're going to set up, so, so choose f of x equals e to the negative x. And now we're going to so show that this integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative x dx is convergent. And to show that, we're going to break it down into the following. This is 0 to infinity, so we can break it down to the integral from 0 to 1 of e to the negative x dx. And then we're going to take the limit as t goes to infinity. We'll make it a type 1 uh, integral, improper integral. Say we're going to go from 0 to t right, of e to the negative x dx. Now, here we have a finite value, right? This is an ordinary integral, which we can calculate. The antiderivative is negative e to the negative x. So this is finite. This is um, an ordinary, this is equal to finite number. This is an ordinary integral. So we don't need to, we don't need to worry about this one, right? All we need to do is show convergence for, for this limit. So uh, to show this convergence, we're going to go and look at the integral at the, the limit actually I jump up the gun here this need to be really written by breaking down uh, let's re let me just change this a little bit let me take off the limit here and say we're going to go from 1 to t to from 1 to infinity. So I apologize. Let me rewrite this part. Okay. I actually, it's not wrong what I wrote, but I, I moved on to the next step. So this really need to read the following. Hopefully it's dry enough. The integral, we go from 1 to infinity of e to the negative x dx. So I just broke 0 to infinity to 0 to 1, 1 to infinity by definition 3 of type 1 integral. And now this is finite, so all we need to worry about the integral from 1 to infinity of e to the negative x dx. And we're going to say this will be the limit as t goes to infinity or the integral from 1 to t of e to negative x dx. So, and this is what I had before I whited it out. Okay, so now we work on this limit and we need to show that it's convergent. So it will be the limit as t goes to infinity and the antiderivative here is negative e to the negative x. So negative e to the negative x and we need to evaluate it of course from 1 to t. So it will be uh, negative e to the negative, well, actually it's a limit here, so again, let me not skip a step here and use, we're still within the limit here. So we have the limit as t goes to infinity, and now we have negative 
e to the negative t minus negative, so it will be uh, plus or minus negative e to the negative 1, like so. Okay? So, what happened is the following. If now we substitute, this is a constant number. Uh, we let, if, we, if you look at e to the negative infinity, that will be 0. So, the end result will be positive e to the negative 1, so it's convergent. Okay, so, so the integral from uh, 0 to infinity of e to the negative x dx is convergent, and therefore, uh, by the comparison theory, we obtain uh, that the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative x where the x is convergent as well. And so, please complete the proof here.